understanding the game we're playing. This game called work, or life, or love, or whichever one you want, or all of them. In game theory, there are two kinds of games. There are finite games, and there are infinite games. A finite game is defined as known players, fixed rules, and an agreed-upon objective. Baseball. We all agree what the rules are, and at the end of nine innings, whoever has more runs, we declare the winner, and the game is over. No one ever says, wait, 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 if we can just play three more innings, I know we can come back and win. Doesn't happen. Right? You have winners and you have losers. Right? Then there is an infinite game. An infinite game is defined as known and unknown players. The rules are changeable, and the objective is to keep the game in play, to perpetuate the game. When you pit a finite player versus a finite player, the system is stable. Baseball is stable. When you pit an infinite player versus an infinite player, the system is also stable. The Cold War was stable because there can be no winners and losers. It doesn't exist. That's not a scenario we want. And so you keep the game in play to keep it stable. And in an infinite game, because there are no winners or losers, what happens is players drop out when they run out of the will or the resources to play. And then they're replaced by other players. The game perpetuates. The players change out. Problems arise when you pit a finite player versus an infinite player. Because the finite player is playing to win, and the infinite player is playing to stay in the game. And the finite player will always get... Uh, Frustrated. They will find themselves in quagmire. This was the United States and Vietnam. We were fighting to win. They were fighting for their lives. This was the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. They were fighting to beat the Mujahideen. The Mujahideen would fight for as long as was necessary. Now, let's look at the game of business. The game of business is, by its very definition, an infinite game. It has pre-existed before every single company on this planet ever existed and it will outlast every single company on this planet. But if you listen to the words of most companies, they don't know the game they're in. You listen to companies, they want to be number one. Based on what metrics? Based on what time frames? Revenues? Market share? Square footage? Number of employees? Based on a quarter, a year? Five years, 10 years, 50 years? I didn't agree to those standards. You can't suddenly just arbitrarily say we're number one. No one else agreed to the standards. It's nonsense to beat our competition. Based on what? And they study their competition, trying to outdo their competition. And yet I've never heard of a company that's taken down by the competitors they know. They're always taken down by the competitors they don't know. Do you think MySpace knew that Facebook existed? They were worried about Friendster. <laughs> you can't make strategic decisions from studying your competition. You can make tactical decisions from studying your competition, but not strategic decisions. But when you listen to the way most companies play the game, they're in the wrong game. That's why they get frustrated. The great organizations understand that they're playing to stay in the game.